Hey guys, what's up? My name's Stoying Rank. I'm the visual effects editor for Flying Soldier Films. And uh, today, uh, we have quite a treat for you. Well, actually, we don't because uh, I removed the, uh, the tutorials about muzzle flushes, color correction, and uh, vignettes from the channel. Because I decided that it would be easier to make it in a few separate tutorials than just one whole one. It's easier to navigate. Um, let's jump straight into it. Uh, drag your footage in, track the layer. I'll have more on tracking later on with an easier um, subject. This was a lot more difficult to track. And uh, what we want to do is just grab your smoke hits, drag them straight in, and go to a point where there is no flash. If you want to pick that one, pick this one. This can be done within After Effects. Can I, um, doesn't really uh, matter what it's done in. Like you can you can use uh, video copilots, action essentials if you want. There's, there are actually smoke hits in that, believe it or not. Um, I was gonna use. You can also use uh, detonation films. Use their stuff. That was what I used at the start, and then eventually I bought um, video copilot stuff. Anyway, so this is our first uh, muzzle flash. Uh, well, more like smoke hit because there is no flash. And there's just uh, a puff coming out the gun. Now, probably uh, in real life would be a lot less noticeable. Probably at half the opacity. And there'd be a lot more of them. So, that scene, then we go to the next one. About two frames, skip two frames. And now we're going to grab a charge. Now, these are from the Action Essentials pack. I will have a, um, uh, a few muzzle flashes in the description. I'll just upload a couple to Mega Upload. And uh, you can download them, use them whenever you like. So, yeah. Okay, so. And we have a, um, a flash. Just rotate it around a bit. Place it in. I'm not going to be going into the details of how I rotate and stuff. But it's pretty basic. Just uh, S scale, R rotate, P position, T opacity. I don't know why T is opacity. Anyway, so. That's one, that's two. This one doesn't need any smoke. It'll just over, um, it'll just, uh, fill up the screen, which is something we don't want. Actually, think, looking back at that, I think we should change it. So we might go charge 29. You yeah, can really pick the worst charges. Alright, here we go. This goes one flash, and we'll have, skip two frames. Uh, page down is the, uh, skip frame button. Just goes one frame. And we'll have another flush here. Scale it down. Change the mode to screen. Uh, if there's anything on a black background, you want to change it to screen because screen seems to cut out the background and make everything brighter. So one. And this one we will have smoke. Bit of variation. Flip that around. Not one. But if everyone's wondering where the um, second LSF stock pack is, we haven't really done much on it. It's really difficult. We don't have the uh, correct computers to run all the stuff. But most of it is explosions within fume effects. You notice that I actually, in my previous tutorial, I added a flash, which we usually don't, you know, we shouldn't add, because we don't need it. It's unnecessary. And it just adds to less realism. You know, one, two, three. Smoke. You can go with... There are other um, uh, ways of doing this. There's a Freddy Wong's approach, which is using the action movie essentials to stock, which is good. Um, but if you're going for something original, do this. I've not seen... I haven't seen barely any videos using the uh, charges as muzzle flashes. Probably because they're not actually intended for muzzle flashes, but... They still work. I don't see why you wouldn't use them. Might bring this up a bit. Just about there. Just get another shot. Mind you that you have to have the um, the flash at one frame. Any longer, it will look uh, miserably fake. This can also be done in uh, Sony Vegas. And probably Final Cut. I'm going to have a guess and say. Although, it's not needed. It's preferred that you use After Effects because it's used for compositing and color grading. Okay, so there's our basic muzzle flash. Shouldn't take them long. Let's place on the loop. 
Well, this is long. Yeah, let's play some like. Just gonna turn that down. So you got this your um muzzle flashes. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't do shells. Shells would be preferred. Actually, we might do shells. Yeah, I'll do it on a different tutorial. 